Uh, welcome to the first video. This is going to be the first of many recordings, inshallah, to come as we try to follow the character and the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So, we're going to start off now with a few things. Here we have um, his everyday conversation. So Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not like to preach all the time. He participated in general conversations of his Sahaba. Yeah, yeah, this one's really, really special and important. You know, as someone who's going on this path, they must understand that it isn't right to preach all the time. That you must be a relatable person and you must be able to converse in general conversation. As you can see here, it says here he did not like to preach all the time. He participated in the general conversation. So get used to uh, general conversation and socializing, bro. It's really, really key and, and important. Regardless of how scared and awkward you are, don't worry about it. You can do it. Equal attention for everyone is another thing. Uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam paid equal attention to everyone. People came to him with all kinds of questions. He took full interest in the personal problems of all people. Sometimes old women and slaves stopped him on his way and discussed their personal matters. He would listen patiently. If the conversation became lengthy, he would sit on the side of the street to give them sufficient time to complete their conversation. He listened to everyone patiently, paying full attention, and would never be the first person to leave. When Rasulullah spoke in assembly, everyone calmly and respectfully listened to him. It was his habit to turn his face in different directions to pay equal attention to everyone. When someone spoke up in the con congregation, he listened, e quietly. he listened quietly. He also listened quietly himself. Sometimes people unintentionally raise their voices in discussion. Allah SWT sent a revelation to forgive, forbid such conduct. Do not raise your voice to the Prophet. Right, so we're not allowed to raise the voice to the Prophet God bless him and send peace to him. Uh, unpleasant conversation. Rasulullah never interrupted others when he spoke. When others when others spoke, if he was displeased by some conversation, he ignored it. Occasionally, if some Bidius unknowingly said something he did not like, he, he tolerated it without anger. Sometimes he would politely correct the speaker and inform them of their mistake. When he heard something pleasant, he appreciated it and showed his approval. Uh, honor of the leader. When the leader of the tribe came to visit Rasulullah he said, Honor the leader of every people, because the leaders of people represent the people, and by honoring them, by honoring the leader, you honor all the people. Do not backbite. If there was disputes or complaints of general concern, Rasulullah would listen to them and try to settle them. He condemned backbiting and did not approve of the unfair criticism of the Sahaba by anyone. So, no backbiting. Uh, when I leave this world, I want to go with a clean heart. That's what he said. Uh, personal needs of others. He always asked people around for personal needs. He would help if he could. Otherwise, he asked others to help the needy brother or sister. He knew that there were needy people and who were shy and did not like to approach him for help. He would ask others if they knew of anyone who, who needed anything. Okay. The purpose of meetings. Rasulullah Sallam held meetings with these people to teach them the divine knowledge and worldly wisdom to be able to lead a pure and simple Islamic life. However, it was not a habit to always talk about religious matters in case people became tired of such topics. He talked to people on subjects of common interest on the occasion around. Okay. This one's interesting here. This one's interesting because I think that I sometimes struggle with this myself. It says here he did not always talk about religious matters in case people became tired of such subjects. He talked to people on subjects of common interest. So you got to find common interests of people, bro, and really try to talk with them and relate with them. General conversations. Sometimes it's all the last time participate in whatever conversation people were having at the time. At such time, he advised them only if his advice was needed. People sometimes told stories of the past, recited poetry, presented their personal problems, and asked religious questions. This was all done with great respect. So, basically, if, if, if advice was needed, he would give it. Otherwise, he would just be in general conversation. This is the proper way to do it, bro, you know. Start getting into life. Start living, bro. Start living life. Start getting into different things. You know, start trying to actually live life, bro. I think this is an issue that we have. You know, remember when we were told live a little? So really, we try to actually live life. Get into stuff. Enjoy stuff. You know, find interest in stuff, bro. And that way you can be more relatable as a person. His enjoyment of humor. 
but also seldom enjoyed humour of others. On some occasions, him himself made humorous remarks. However, his humour was always spoken in truth. His remarks cheered the audience, but never made the meeting of a place fun of. F- he made a place f- of fun and frolic. His assembly always remained a place of learning, understanding, and spiritual fulfillment. So he did. He made it funny, very like he made it enjoyable. You know, God bless him, Sallallahu He made it such a beautiful way to understand and to come. You know, he was very inviting. He was humorous. Um, it was very opposite to how a lot of people think that you should be preaching Islam. His smile, Rasulullah smiled often. It was not his habit to laugh out loud. He, this, his Sahaba followed his example and refrained from bursting into laughter in an assuming, in a, in a assuming situation. So he didn't burst into laughter like you hear some people. Like he didn't laugh out loud. He didn't make it a habit to. Um, and that, that's really cool. Sitting with humility. Uh, Rasulullah always sat with a posture that demonstrated both his humility and his identification with the common people. His favorite position was to sit on the ground and encircled his knees with his arms. Sometimes he squatted with his weight on his feet or sat in a more comfortable position with his legs folded sideways. That's really cool. Okay. And then the pages go on and on now. I think we're going to keep it there. Uh... Six minutes. Alright, we're going to keep it there. So there's just some of the cool things that uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Prophet of Islam, used to do. And uh, this, these are just notes to myself, learning, learning, learning all I can about this man. And hopefully we can try to um, implement his teachings into our daily life. I hope you enjoyed this recording and the videos will continue to come uh, when I do manage to make a video. Peace.